on installment two of my Canadian train odyssey, I asked the question, is travel by train fun? Some of you answered in episode two. Thank you for that, Archie. Some of you did not. Well, I'll give you my answer here at the end of episode three as we get to Vancouver through the Rocky Mountains of Canada. Good morning from Jasper, Alberta, Canada. They have a special breakfast, kind of continental breakfast thing in the train this morning. But we have most certainly entered the Rocky Mountains. So let's turn this around. And mountains, beautiful, lovely. Wish you were here. So that was night number two on the train. Slept much better last night. Uh, I think I I wasn't as tired, but uh, being on the train was much more normal, comfortable. So that was good. It's a very different experience than anything I've had so far. Cleaning the Skyline car. Went down to the end of the train. Got some more pictures of Jasper. Looks beautiful and look what's on the tracks. A herd of, I don't know what those are. Deer, I guess. I think those are deer. I don't know, just hanging out. Hanging out on the tracks. Not, uh, not phased by the train or anything at all. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Day two, we're in the Rocky Mountains of Canada, and the scenery is just stunning, amazing. Day two continues. I think we're experiencing our first unexpected delay. Um, they came over the PA and said that there is a track foreman ins inspecting or doing some work ahead of us. Uh, could be deadfall. There have been uh, evidence of deadfall along the way as we've gotten up here into the mountains. Uh, but all in all, not a bad place to uh, spend your delay if you have to. We are just, the engines at least, are on the middle of a bridge and my car is just at the edge of the bridge. Instead of a regular breakfast, lunch, dinner service today, it is uh, continental breakfast, brunch, and then dinner Now that we're at brunch, let's take a look at the options. We have the regulars, the transcontinental, your chef's omelet, and new for the brunch menu, chicken pot pie. Can't have that. Pasta of the day. Can't have that. Both of those, the lots of gluten. Or vegan hash with more tofu. Yay, tofu. Not really. There was one surprise with brunch, a gluten-free muffin. That was very yummy. And here is the vegan hash. Mm. 
Blue River. Blue River. That's all you get. We are approaching Kamloops. Uh, as I've learned on this trip, the schedule is the king. Uh, don't get there too early, don't get there too late. There's just lots of uh, slack time built into the schedule. I don't see any frozen ponds anymore, and I don't see there being snow next to the river. So they either didn't get snow or it all melted already. Beautiful, lovely, wish you were here. Welcome to Kamloops. Um, got an hour till dinner, so I get to come out and get some fresh air, which is nice. Been inside the train, which you'd think would be fresh air, but now with a bunch of in-room toilets, the inside of the train gets kind of uh, skunky, I will say, uh, whether you're using it or not. As I'm looking at my image here on the screen, I kind of look like I'm in an interrogation cubicle or something. Last dinner on the train is completed. Uh, it was the, I guess, suggested main was rack of lamb. Oof. They also had like a honey glazed chicken and some rice, which is very good. Uh, I've done a very good job up to this point of recording, uh, getting images of all that. I didn't this time, so. But with that, I think I'm gonna sign off from day two, two and a half, I guess I'd call it. My third evening on the train, or my third night of sleep. We are just about to Vancouver Station. It is 6.04. There's a last day breakfast at 6.30. Uh, all passengers are to be off the train by 8 when the train is closed. Just in case you missed it from episode 2, here's the most of the walk from my cabin to the dining car in the back. Passing the sleepers for 2. into the Skyline car. Full breakfast this morning. Get off the train at eight. Leaving the Skyline car now and we'll be entering the dining car next. And full house this morning for breakfast, which included the regulars, the transcontinental, chef's omelet, new today, banana pecan pancakes. Look at that, the vegan scramble with tofu again. And you could also get a continental. Look at that, it's the vegan scramble with tofu. Yay, tofu. Not really. All right, I'm off the train, headed to the terminal. Uh, yeah. Baggage, I think, comes off at eight, so I got a little time. Well, we've reached the end of my Canadian train odyssey, and what did you think? Did it look like fun to you? I'll give you my verdict on fun here in a minute, but some things to consider if you've never taken a train trip like I had never taken a train trip before. The train moves, the train rocks, the train is noisy, the train is all these things. So it's something you should expect. When I've watched other YouTube videos, it seems like the train journey is uh, what I would call romanticized. Like everything is wonderful, peachy, wish you were here. 
My only other train experience was the Eurostar going into Paris from London through the channel. And that of course, being a high speed train is super smooth. So that really surprised me. And it took me a while to get used to the motion of the train. I was actually a little afraid initially when we first started pulling out of Winnipeg that I might get motion sick because it was moving so much. If you like to sit down at dinner and meet new people and learn about them at dinner, or while you're looking out the window, then via rail or Amtrak or any of those things with the shared dining experience are gonna be for you. I am mostly an introvert, and so sitting down to dinner with people I don't know is not always easy and it's kind of a challenge. The second thing that was a little bit disappointing to me in particular is the gluten-free food on the train. Now, I had gone through the process to uh, talk to Via Rail about gluten-free food and, and they made they were assured me that they had made accommodations for gluten-free food on the train. And there was gluten-free food on the train. Essentially, every meal had a gluten-free, vegan, uh, vegetarian dish that was tofu-based. Again, once in a while I can do tofu, but for every meal, it's just, it was a bit much. Thankfully, there was gluten-free bread on board, so I was able to get a couple things that were not too tofu based, so that was good. So if you have any dietary restrictions like me, keep that in mind. But I think a big part of the experience on Via Rail is the quality of the food. The other menu items look fantastic. A uh, rack of lamb one night. Not that I care for rack of lamb necessarily, but uh, you know, it looked really good. The chef was very accommodating. He came out and talked to everybody after every service. So, you know, the staff was amazing. Everything about the staff was really cool. They were very friendly. Uh, no complaints there. I was really craving a steak. There was a uh, roast beef one night and it was covered in gravy and the gravy had gluten in it, so I couldn't have it. So uh, first thing I did when I got off the train was to grab a steak. So is it fun? I would say, yes, it is fun. I was... I guess disappointed that it wasn't as fun as I hoped it was going to be. It was, it was good. I would, and as I said, I would probably do it again with somebody with me, probably not solo. What are your thoughts? What do you think about my assessment of the Via Rail Canadian based on what you've seen? And maybe you've taken the Via Rail or an Amtrak trip and you uh, can directly comment as well. Put those comments below. I appreciate it. I don't normally give a grade uh, for my trips. Uh, I, I really want you, the viewer, to look at the experience and make your own judgments. Regardless of that, if I did anything on the journey that made you laugh, giggle, shake your head, what is he doing? Any of those sorts of things. If you like my photos, I would appreciate if you give me a like. If you want to get to a, another level of support, this is where you go ahead and you click those subscribe buttons and the reminder bells. Uh, that is another level of support and I appreciate those as well. And if you're still compelled to increase your support to another level, even above all that, and you're on your desktop at least, go ahead and click the join button. There's a join button down below. You'll become a member of the channel. That provides direct financial support to the channel. Those funds, of course, are used for my travel experiences and the content creation here on YouTube. That will bring the Canadian trip to an end. I'm going to sign off and wish you and yours safe and happy travels. See you next time.